what i wanted to understand and a lot of people ask me what is ai simple yes. right yes. and yes. and how it has transformed in the last 5 years like you know why suddenly people are talking about ai now as compared to you know 5 years before and how it has changed in terms of approach yes so um, if you look at any journey for example the aviation journey right when the right brothers came up with the first uh, flight what had they really done was they had understood the basic principles of aerodynamics and and pressure and and all the principles and they had engineered a system based on that understanding that could actually fly which was never done before right? right now ai is kind of like in in that same stage right now i i am not saying we are in the jet age in ai we are still in the very early stages but we have now started to understand the principles of ai so and and i am still very curious subject uh, you know curious uh, student of ai because uh, i'm still trying to figure out the answer to this question so in my mind ai is many many things it is a philosophy um, if you look at the quest for mankind right what are we really trying to do through the ages uh, is to understand who we are right what are our capabilities and skills and all that so the who am i question is the core question across civilizations across history Right. the question has now morphed into how am i able to even ask this question right ants never ask this question you know birds never ask this question and then we realize that i have a mind and this mind has an ability to do five very important things first thing the mind can do is to learn something so we are not a static system we learn right we learn alphabets all the way to writing poems and po- we learn to walk all the way to dance and do uh, complicated things we learn all the way from driving a bicycle to uh, you know becoming an astronaut so we learn and we grow so that is one thing that philosophers have always been interested on what is learning and how does it happen and how does the brain learn something right so that is one thing second is what is understanding we don't know how do we understand meanings of words meanings of images meanings of uh, video clips meanings of sarcasm meanings of jokes right how do we understand these things is another mystery how does the brain suddenly say oh i understood right what does that really mean is again a mystery to us and you know when a, when a, as a teacher you are teaching something to five students or 100 students some of them understand some of them don't what is that transition that happens we don't understand that yet right so understanding what is the meaning of something how do we understand the meaning is still nobody can tell you this is the formula of understanding right third okay. is what is thinking when i say i am thinking what does it mean am i solving a problem am i adopting my thing am i exploring options like when you are playing a chess move and i say can you make your next move and the other guy says no no i'm still thinking what is he really doing again is a mystery and we don't know what thinking is right so again we need to understand that and the last thing uh, the second last thing is creative how come i am able to create so much right i based on what i read what i understood now i am able to create so i can create a poem i can create a uh, an article i can create a ppt presentation i can create a product i can create a company this idea of what is creativity we don't understand how does it happen right uh, and the last thing is what is consciousness uh that uh you know we are aware of ourselves right uh, can ai become aware of itself at some point right so think right. of these five stages of ai right the ability to learn the ability to understand the ability to sort of think to create and become aware of itself so that is the philosophy part of ai which is there are philosophers thinkers psychologists neuroscientists uh, mathematicians all of us are trying to understand what humans can do in this area the mental and cognitive capabilities of humans they are trying yeah. to understand all these capabilities and trying to figure out if there is an algorithm behind it which is you know based in our biological uh, neural technology or whatever uh, what is that algorithm behind it right so this is one part of ai the philosophy of it. second part of ai is that it's a science think of it like any other science that's why we call it data science so what is the scientific process science is a very straight forward thing now we all understand science now right so you observe something apple is falling you make a hypothesis that there is gravity 
then you say okay let me now understand this phenomena by many many experiments so i'm going to make different thing falls from different heights i'm going to do measurement so i'm going to collect data and then i'm going to fit a theory to that measurement and say maybe this is the law of gravity maybe the g coefficient is this much and not this much right, right. so then i i try to fit a, a model to it and now that model is the truth behind the data that was being generated right so reverse engineering the truth behind the observation why something is happening is a very important part of what science does all the time we are not satisfied that we understand that earth is round we are not satisfied that you know we understand how the sun works and the photosynthesis works we want to go deeper and deeper we want to know how the atom works how the neutron works right or how the cosmos works and how the right. everything works right the why of it the grammar of it is what we are trying to figure out so we are seeing observation this is good this is bad and this is true for all sciences if you look at psychology for example is doing the same thing uh, economics is doing the same thing why do people do certain things right sociology is doing the same thing physics chemistry biology is doing the same thing so really ai is like a science it's like a scientific method which is more data driven than domain driven but it requires a lot of domain but the idea is the same so it's really right. a, a scientific process right? right we're trying to figure out the cause and effect relationship between things that's right. all we are trying to do pretty much like sciences yeah right. so that is one uh, the only difference is now we are not doing it ourselves we are building a machine to figure out the cause and effect relationship and that is what right. makes ai uh more and more exciting and intriguing that how come a machine can figure out the cause and effect relationship between let's say you know credit modeling or fraud prediction or out you know all these applications how can machine do the same thing that hundreds and thousands of subject matter experts can do when they sit together and machine can do the same thing uh if i give the same data to these people to the machine right it doesn't have to yeah. know the rules of the game by watching people play games it can figure out the rules of the game and that is what has intrigued people into this whole area of ai that now we can replicate our own ability to learn from data into a machine and that is what uh, is fascinating about uh, ai right? yeah. so that is the science part so there's a philosophy part there's a science part there's an engineering part which says okay now that i understand the laws of learning the laws of understanding the laws of thinking the laws of creativity pretty much like if i say i understand the laws of motion laws of magnetism laws of electricity laws of gravity very much like that right, right. except that the laws in ai are not about things outside about matter and energy outside the laws of ai are about us only right how the brain works and that is what makes it far more interesting it's one of the most personal sciences if you will it's not about something outside it's about how i think how i understand how about how i create how i learn i want to figure that part out right my own algorithm that is what the uh, the science of it is now once we have understood that science that this is what learning is this is what understanding is now can i apply that science and create products and companies and solutions and services and that is the engineering of it right if i only understood the laws of motion and never created uh, you know a car or a or a projectile or anything if i only understood the laws it is a complete waste of understanding the laws we have right. to engineer the laws into building stuff and and keep re reinforcing that yes we have understood the right laws and uh, we can build stuff on top of it right so that right. is the engineering part of ai that can i build engineering systems ai system that can do something right and not just help me understand what ai is and the fourth part is ai is also an evolution if you look at uh, you know the ai revolution started the first thing we did was we built a calculator and we said look humans have to calculate they have to add things all the time and subtract things can i make a calculator so calculator was the first transfer of human ability to do mental work into machines right calculation then you know calculation became symbolic computation like can i solve a quadratic equation using machines or something like that so calculation part of ai, AI evolved then we said okay calculation is fine it's a simple thing but can i now do algorithms and flow charts and all that right so that became computation so 
calculation became computation computation is like a whole algorithm written and now you can program very very complicated algorithms of how to book a cab in ola or how to do search engine crawling and all that they became it systems so calculators became computers and now computers are becoming cognitive computers which means i don't have to program them anymore i have to program them at a meta level that this is what thinking and learning and understanding is these are the building blocks of those now you go figure out learn those programs yourself i am not going to code the program i am just giving you the mechanism to learn the program by yourself through data and i am just going to now supply data to you you have the ability to do this and this is what humans are pretty much right all intelligent life forms are pretty much like that right we are born with the ability to learn we are not told uh, how to walk how to run when we are born but we are given the instruments of it and when we experience life we are able to use the instrument of the brain and the muscle and the nervous system to figure things out automatically and you know like if if god was marveling the achievement of uh, of intelligence and brain we are marveling the achievement of ai in the same sense that we are able to okay. now create systems that can learn by themselves which is a very fascinating thing uh, you know every parent knows what i mean when you learn that your child has now figured out how to walk or speak it's a very fascinating moment that same feeling you get when your ai system learns how to do these things by itself yeah. so in my mind it's a philosophy it's a science it's an engineering it's an evolution and it's a way of thinking and uh, you know that's what we'll talk about uh, in this course yeah. of uh, action yeah. right. so what i understand is that you know as you have rightly said and you touched the core actually like you know you just touched the actually the base of uh, you know what is it even very difficult to define something which in this insta world right where everyone wants to do things very fast and they want yes. to believe that they have understood yes right uh, and it is at times they just want to hear some things and i think because of hearing so many things at times it becomes really difficult to understand the real part 